morning everyone. So today we've come to a coastal town called Lagos. It's about 30 minute drive from where we're staying in Portimao. And we've come here because today we're gonna to be doing some kayaking. There's some like amazing rock formations on the coast here in Lagos. And yeah, we thought like kayaking would be something good to do. It looks pretty cool anyway. And it's gonna cost, I think, 30 euros each. It's usually 35 euros each, but we went there as a group of four and asked, asked if we could get a discount since there's four of us. So they agreed and said uh, 30 euros. So yeah, that's gonna be the price. So we just head into the place now. We'll probably get ready. And yeah, we're gonna go on the, the kayaking adventure. As you can see here, it's quite nice. Like a little river nearby. It's kind of like a fishing village as well, I think. So yeah, just another nice little town. Right, so we are off. Apparently it's gonna take like two and a half hours, but we stop on a beach, I think, for 40 minutes. And I think it's gonna be three kilometers there and three kilometers back. So yeah, it's gonna be quite a long one. Just waiting for our guide. I think that's him behind us. <laughs> and that's my mum over there. She's gonna do a boat trip instead. Ready, Carol? Yeah. <laughs> Just went through that little like arch here. Really cool rocks. You can see you got a really cool bridge there as well. And just look at that, the coast all the way down. So we're gonna be heading all the way down there. We've stopped off at the beach. It's only gonna be 15 minutes. I thought it'd be a bit more, so we don't get much time, but yeah, an amazing little beach here. Just hidden away like all the others. But look at all these gigantic rocks, crazy. And we're just gonna walk down here a little bit. So the place we went back there is called Ponta da Piedade. It's like the most touristic thing to see here. And all these cliffs that you can see, you can actually walk at the top. So you don't want to do the like boat tour or, or yeah, or like the kayaking or anything. You can just uh, walk along the top. There's like car park areas and stuff. So yeah, that would be cool as well. So you got all these little caves here with like shelter. All the other groups of kayak tours here as well. <laughs> decided to come to the top of the cliffs, like I mentioned before, of uh, Ponta da Piedade. And uh, yeah, pretty interesting walk for you here. But you're gonna see, it looks amazing up here. Check this out here for some incredible formations. So we were just kayaking around all these, basically and around there as well. So this is Ponta da Piedade. And I think I'm gonna to head to that corner over there. Oh 
what do you think? Oh, I love it. I think it's my favorite place in Portugal. Yeah, mine too. Definitely the best thing we've seen so far in Portugal. Ponta da Piedade. So check this out now for an incredible view. I'm basically on like the really far corner now. So you can see all the way down like the south there. And then on the other side, it's the coast going all the way up. So we only came around these arches and caves here. We didn't go over here on the kayak, but yeah, that just looked really incredible. And I think after this, we're gonna be heading over there to those white cliffs to another place. Yeah, so that'll be coming up. But I think I definitely have to get the drone out in this spot. This is like some, yeah, very unique scenery. I don't really think I've ever seen anything like this before. Come to a spot now called Praia do Moz. That's the name of the beach here, which you can see behind me in the background. But we're not going to the beach yet because we're going to be doing a little hike up those white cliffs that you saw in the in the previous images. So yeah, I think it's quite a hike, but should get some awesome views once again at the top. The fitness family. So we've only walked like not even five minutes, but you already get a lot better views of the beach here. Seems to just go on forever. You can already see the kind of white cliffs here. And yeah, it just keeps going on and on. There's even houses here as well. I didn't expect that. Must have some pretty nice views. <laughs> Yeah, it's way higher. <laughs> so dad said it would take how long to walk it? He said an hour and a bit. An hour and a bit? Yeah, I thought it would be less, but he said he saw it on Google. Oh, okay. Yeah, just when we think we've reached the top, you look further on and then you just see even higher points. So yeah, this thing just goes on and on. And yeah, I think it takes about an hour to get to the other place where we're going, Praia da Luz. I don't know if you can really realize how high this thing is. This is easily the biggest cliff we've seen in Algarve so far, I think. It's huge. <laughs> Pretty dangerous as well, like, you gotta watch out. So I'm not sure if I'll ever be going to any country with um, this, this many cliffs. I think in all my videos so far, there's just been like, yeah, these kind of cliff landscapes. So yeah, like I said before, it's just very unique around here. All different colors and stuff as well.
so those should have been some pretty epic drone shots once again and now you can actually see the place that we're going in the background so where you see all those white buildings there it's called Praia da Luz and we've even got some different kind of rocks here now like darker rocks so yeah it's changed a lot so Praia da Luz means like a uh, light beach or beach of the light that's what it would mean in English so I'm not even sure what we're gonna do when we get there I think I'm gonna need to chill in a cafe or something and then yeah maybe we'll just chill out on the beach Beautiful. oh the secret beach yeah there's someone in there <laughs> oh wow oh yeah there is there's someone down there isn't there yeah. they, they must have walked a long way to get there check it out you got a much better view now So I knew the Algarve was rocky, but I didn't realize it would be Ow. this much. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's beautiful. It's an epic surprise so many people. Look at the colors on the rock there as well. Yeah, it's all different. Isn't it? yeah, it's almost like red and orangey. Yeah. And then it just goes on and on, doesn't it? All the way down. Yeah. Crazy. We arrive now in Copacabana. In Brazil, those rocks are called uh, Portuguese rocks. Yeah. Because it's from Portugal. <laughs> yeah, so that's why you have this in Copacabana as well, probably. Here's the cafes. <laughs> Bom dia. So we come to the cafe, got a much needed uh, fresh orange juice, and this was like three euros. But we are right on the coast, look. Right on the beach. What are we gonna do after this? Go home. <laughs> At the end. Are you having the zip? I don't know. Might do. So here it's saying we actually have like Roman ruins excavated in the 19th century from the 3rd and 5th centuries so I guess part of this wall here old wall didn't expect to see uh, Roman ruins here no. <laughs> so we're just walking around this uh, beautiful town now might be the nicest place we've been in ter terms of like appearance you have like the nice little designs along the walkway. Everything just looks nice here. Palm trees oh, here. Amazing beach yeah. with the cliff. And yeah, now we know that there's a Roman wall here. <laughs> here we have some more historic buildings. So this was a fort from the 17th century. Military fort, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's just a residence. Residencia Fortaleza. And like every little town in Portugal, you have a igreja, old church. We're gonna be heading back home now. Get a get a bite to eat. It's been been a long day. I think today was probably the the best day here in the Algarve. Yeah, it's definitely the best best things that I've seen so far since I've I've been here in in the south of Portugal. And I think after 11 years, I'm gonna move back in with my parents. <laughs> what do you think, Mum? Yeah, like there you are. There you go. So it's official, I'm moving back in and all the videos from now on are gonna be in the Algarve. <laughs> no, I'm just messing around, but yeah, this um, this place is incredible for sure. And that place right there, Praia da Luz, yeah, I'd like to go back there another day and like stick around on the beach. It would be a nice place to spend the whole day. We're just pretty tight because we've done so much stuff already and 
uh, I'm not sure where the next video is going to be from. It might be in Spain because we are going to be heading to Spain in two days. I doubt I'll be doing a video before that. So yeah, I think the next video is going to be from southern Spain. See how that compares to here. So as always, just thanks for watching. Drop a like on the video to support me. Subscribe if you, if you like to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.